After the announcement that Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan and Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev will meet in Brussels on December 15th, Pashinyan held phone talks on November 21st with Russian President Vladimir Putin. They discussed the situation in the region as well as the implementation of the November 9th, 2020 and January 11th, 2021 trilateral agreements. This was their second phone conversation this week. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov gave comment after the announcement of the meeting, saying that a trilateral meeting of Pashinyan, Aliyev and the Russian president is likely in the future. Civilnet contributor Benjamin Borosyan reacted to the news in an interview with Civilnet. According to Borosyan, the meeting in Brussels can be perceived as evidence of Russia's weakening position in the mediation process. However, it is unlikely that any document will be signed in Brussels. This comes as Pashinyan stated that Armenia has received proposals from the Russian side regarding border demarcation processes, saying that they were acceptable to the Armenian side. In other news over the weekend, Armenian Foreign Minister Arad Mirzoyan commented on a speculated normalization of relations in the future between Armenia and Turkey. In an interview with French newspaper Le Figaro, Mirzoyan stated that the Armenian side had received positive signals from Turkey. However, Mirzoyan added that complications remain, saying that Ankara has started setting new preconditions for any normalization to take place, namely a corridor between Azerbaijan proper and its exclave of Nakhijevan through the southern Sunnic region of Armenia. Mirzoyan has repeatedly stated that there is no discussion going on with regards to corridors through Armenia. And in a first since the end of the Second Karabakh War, it was announced that the Prime Minister, Nikol Pashinyan, will hold a virtual press conference on November 23rd at 8 pm. This will be Pashinyan's first press conference since November 16th, 2020, during the 2020 war. And a newly set up anti graft body in Armenia has pressed charges against former president Serge Sarkisyan. The details of the charges have not yet been publicized. Sarkisyan was already charged once in 2019 to do with a different investigation into embezzlement of around $1 million. This case has been ongoing for over a year now. Sarkisyan is maintaining that the charges are politically motivated. And Yerevan residents awoke today to protests. Protesters were demanding the resignation of the Prime Minister and were organized by a number of political parties. Some protesters blocked Yerevan's streets in the early morning. And finally, Susanna Shamakhyan, the Vice President of Strategic Programming at the Foundation for Armenian Science and Technology, speaks to Sivonet about the organization's aim to make Armenia an innovation hub by 2041. Ms. Shamakhyan explains some of the obstacles to the tech sector's growth, different initiatives that take place with international partners, and what she means by a technological leapfrog. <laughs>